Let's talk honey, money. Let's talk money, honey. Let's talk how to save money using the plugin Honey. What's up you guys, Frankie here. This is the Money Resolution where we talk all things personal finance. And today we're talking about how Honey can save you money at checkout on Amazon and thousands upon thousands of other stores online. And it's like crazy, crazy easy. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to install Honey. I'm gonna show you exactly how Honey works using some screenshots, as well as give you all the pros, all the cons, and my ultimate recommendation, hint. Do you like saving money? Plus lots of tips of the best ways to use it and how you can collect honey gold and turn that gold into gift certificates. If that all sounds great, be sure to stick around until the very end. And if you get some value out of this video, let me know in the comments below, like this video if you like this video, and let's get started. So first up, we're gonna talk about what Honey is. So Honey is an extension for your browser. So for me, that's Chrome, but it also works with just about any browser out there. So what is an extension? An extension, look at it as just like an app for your browser. And of course, this is totally free. There's not even ads or anything like that. Ultimately, Honey is going to help you save money at Amazon, Nike, Nordstrom, Finish Line, Expedia, Kohl's, and lots, lots more. In fact, over 40,000 stores online. And what Honey does is it allows you to save money by automatically checking for coupon codes that are currently working. It will find and populate the best one for you at checkout. And this is so much easier than stopping and browsing the internet at checkout on sites like Retail Me Not. For what it's worth, it does have a five-star rating in the Google Chrome store with over 150,000 reviews. So a lot of people like it beyond just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through a demo of how to install and how to use Honey to your benefit. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously launch your web browser. Next up, you're gonna wanna go to joinhoney.com. And in the description below, I actually have a referral link that you can use when signing up. From here, you're gonna go ahead and click add to Chrome, add to Safari, whatever browser that you're using. I tried this from scratch using Safari just for a different experience and it actually kicked me over to the Apple store to go ahead and download it there, which was just sort of different. And then from there, it prompted me to check the box to activate the Honey plugin. Now you'll see Honey is installed and it says create an account to get started. You can do this through Google, Facebook, or PayPal. Or you can actually go ahead and say, I'll skip this step. And if you don't sign up, what you can do is still access the codes, but you don't get some of these special features and bells and whistles. So as you can see, you're either here for coupons or you're here for deals. This shows you an example of someone searching for a Nintendo Switch and actually setting up an alert in their drop list to be notified when that price drops a certain amount. You can also earn Honey Gold, which we'll talk about here in a moment. And on Amazon, it'll help you find the best price currently available, and that might be from a different seller. And then of course, you can go shopping at honey.com using their explore page. Is it honey.com? Sure. But this is where it prompts you, get Honey Gold, price drop notifications, and more just by creating a free account. So how do you use Honey while you shop? I'll quickly recap that. Number one, you shop as you normally would. Number two, you add something to your cart and you go to checkout. Three, click the Honey icon located in the extension or add-on section of your web browser. But oftentimes, honestly, it just does this automatically. Then you'll click apply coupons. Step five is it'll enter the best automatically. And step six, click continue to check out and complete your purchase as you normally would. So on the explore tab, you'll see the trending stores as well as how much Honey Gold you've earned. You get 50 just for signing up, it looks like. You'll see Best Buy, FedEx, Macy's. I'm gonna go ahead and click into video games, PlayStation 4, because that's what I have. And let's check out Zombieland, I've never heard of this game. And here it's gonna direct me to shop on Target. So it knows the best deal is at Target. And it looks like it's on sale for $24.99. Now I can save it to my drop list by signing up here. I'll come back to this in a moment. Or I can set up alerts. So by default, it does 60 days and at least 5% off to get alerted, which you of course can change. Now I'm checking out the price history of this item, which is currently $24.99. I can see what date it reportedly dropped, as well as its original date of $36.99 back early January. And I can go as far back as 120 days. It looks like this game is actually newer, so there's not data before late November. And you can just see how it changes over time. Now I'm also gonna walk you through something we've been shopping for recently, which is a new dining room table and chairs since we moved. And we've got our eye on this table in particular. So I can go ahead in Amazon and see the price history in the last 120 days. And as you can see, 
it was all the way down to 129.12 back in early November, which is crazy low. So I'll go ahead and set up an alert for 120 days and be notified if it drops again more than 5%. Here are the chairs that we picked out that would match really nicely with it. So we're gonna go ahead and view the price history on this chair set. We see just one price drop actually for 76.98 I believe it was. And I can go back 120 days and it looks like it was listed mid-October. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the same alert. 60 days, for the next 60 days, notify me if the price drops. So now it's in the drop list along with the table and it's that simple to set up your drop list and your alerts. Drop list. It's clever. If it drops in price, you got a list. Got it. It is best used at Amazon.com without a doubt. And the truth is with Amazon pricing, it is sort of dynamic and prices fluctuate up and down almost daily. So Honey is the best way to track history, look in the past, see if it has been cheaper in the past, and that might help you hold off and see if it reaches that price again in the future. You might even be able to predict in certain situations when it's gonna drop. And again, it will tell you if the product you're looking at is available cheaper with another seller. I definitely recommend adding things to your drop list and setting up notifications before I figured out you can do that, I just kept this tab open for literally weeks and would hit refresh each morning to check the price. That is a pointless waste of time, so just go ahead and set up the alerts. Let's go through the pros of using Honey. And the first and most obvious here is it saves you money and is extremely easy to use. It searches its database of coupon codes and applies them automatically. And using Amazon and other sites, you can actually check the price history as well as set up alerts and add it to your drop list to be notified. And if you offer your information, your Google account or your Facebook account or your email address, you can earn Honey Gold, which is essentially cash back while shopping on your regular purchases. It's just free money and as you can see here, you can use that money in exchange for gift cards at Amazon, Walmart, Macy's, Nike, and more. You just need to earn at least 1,000 points, which is the equivalent of $10. Now there are some cons, but even these are kind of a stretch, I think. Number one, you need to be shopping on a computer. They do have an app for Honey, but unfortunately it's super limited. You have to shop within the app, within the store you're looking at. It's just sort of clunky and not a great experience yet on mobile. The other major con here I gotta call out is more often than not, if I'm being honest, it is not going to find a discount for you. I quickly just added three pairs of shoes to cart at three different stores. This was Nike, Foot Locker, and Nordstrom. And at all three of these stores with these random shoes that were full price, it was not able to find a discount for me. But at least I have the peace of mind in knowing there's not a cheaper option out there. Just like any browser extension, technically it could include malware and it is collecting data and information, but I don't think this is an issue with Honey. I haven't seen any complaints of the sort out there on the internet doing some browsing around. And they did say on their website very clearly they don't sell your information to third parties. I am trying to figure out how Honey makes money. The only thing I found really on this, uh, on their website is they make money on special offers, but also with Honey Gold, their optional reward system. So they must partner up. It's sort of like affiliate links, but discounts. So there are some cases, and I'll put one on the screen here, where when you're shopping, in this case it's at Foot Locker, where Honey is not gonna find a code for you in that particular instance, but there is some sort of partnership with Honey because it does say that I can earn Honey Gold on this purchase. And look at Honey Gold, of course, as just cash back. In this case, 180 to 540, which comes out to $1.80 to $5.40, which really isn't bad. Not to mention, you could potentially team up Honey with one of the other saving platforms online. One that comes to mind, for example, is Ebates. So get your discount automatically, earn points towards that purchase, and then why not pay with a cash back credit card? Now we're talking. That sounded so nerdy. Can you tell I get excited about saving pennies on the dollar? <laughs> Okay, so ultimately, do I recommend Honey? And honestly, this is a no-brainer for me to save money passively while doing my normal shopping online. I would say that it has saved me money on about 10% of my purchases, $10 on average. That is $50 maybe a year that it has saved me passively. The other cool thing is I just discovered that feature with the drop list and the notifications for pricing. So I'm gonna say that that's probably gonna save me another $50 this next year. So that's like a free $100 that I think Honey is probably saving me a year. Total ballpark estimate though. You just have to deal with this annoying little gold dancy coin thing every once in a while. And if you're still not totally sold, I will drop a few links in the description below that I found doing my research, including the Honey website itself. If you are convinced, you can of course use the referral link in the description below, 
I don't think you get anything from signing up that link, but it is a nice little way to say thank you for all the research and putting this video together. I think it kicks me a little bit of honey gold or something. Be sure to subscribe if you got some value out of this video. I do put out videos roughly once a week on all things personal finance. That's how to save money, make money, get out of debt, and how to spend your money wisely. Like the video if you liked the video. That always means a lot to me. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I do try to reply to every comment. Once again, my name is Frankie. This is The Money Resolution, and as always, I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, I'm just gonna tack this on here at the very end. I was just reading about the creation of Honey and it's kind of a cool story. So back in 2012, the creator Ryan Hudson was struggling with his finances and one night he ordered pizza online for him and his kids. He apparently beat himself up over paying full price. After he put his kids to bed, he was so frustrated at himself for not looking for a code online to save a little bit of money. But he also said he had no idea where to look. So he, of course, just like anyone else, built the thing that didn't exist that he wanted. So that's a pretty cool startup story. If something doesn't exist, get out there and build it or ask somebody else to really nicely. Be sure to check out this sweet video next or that one. That one's actually better.